Because that's what I do. Anything worth having is worth working for. We all know that. And office holders need to take that as their credo. They need to take their sense of oath as fundamentally important that that drive them to work as hard for their constituencies as they can. But like everyone living in these times, you know, COVID-19, we have to do things a little different. How many of you have been to a virtual party like this? <laughs> but we're making it work, aren't we? We're making it work, aren't we? Kind of buck the trend, the virulence of an anti-incumbency wave uh, was pushed back by the people of the 10th district and said we know the best when we see it and we're going to put it forward so that all of us can aspire to be better than would otherwise be the case. They rejected the untested. They embraced the battle tested. That's what we have tonight and that's a good thing. They understood that homelessness is my priority unapologetically. Not just a campaign speech but tomorrow I'll be at a homeless encampment doing what I do to try to construct new models for how we address what I think is the defining moral crisis of our time. We're not going to be unwilling to reimagine uh, law enforcement with the kind of creativity and balance and wisdom that ought to be brought to bear. We will not be precipitous. We will be thoughtful and we will do what we do. We will respect first responders and essential workers because I believe in Dr. Martin Luther King's expression, all labor has dignity. I think I'm right about that. All labor has dignity. And tomorrow the work begins. Party virtually tonight. Let me express how much your hard work and your belief in my candidacy truly means this. Greatly appreciate it. It's heartfelt. I look forward to working with the residents of the 10th district. I know they're going to try to get every ounce that they can get from me while they can in the, the length of the term in which I'm engaged. And I have to run fast, I have to run hard. Because I don't have much time to do what I need to do, but I plan to make a difference with your help. Will you help me? Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. charging advocate on behalf of the homeless and someone who will stand up for the arts and who is not reluctant to reimagine what government can be. Hey, you, need a, you need a Merck Park? In the Merck Park? The headquarters of culture and commerce for the African American community. I'm all about it. All right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
and I am deeply grateful as a community member, as his wife, of course, and uh, our long companionship since we've known each other since high school. I'm proud. I'm uh, expecting great things for the 10th district. I mean, it's so clear that he knows how to get things accomplished for us. He's committed to that. He's enthusiastic about it. He's passionate. And I just appreciate the support of community members in the process. Perfect. Thank you so much.